There is a small but well-known bakery nestled along the banks of the Lehigh Gorge. And they claim that they can turn this into this. So I hiked down to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania to see for myself. Does it donut? This is the strawberry Pop-Tart donut from Donuts Donuts in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Measuring in at four inches wide by two and a quarter inches high and coming in at a playful 5.8 ounces. We got hold of one of these childhood memories to find out if it can still come out to play. This is a strawberry Pop-Tart donut from Donuts Donuts in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Look at how elegant this is. The soft, beautifully delicate rose pink. The sparkle of pink crystalline sugar on top. The little dollop of whipped cream, perhaps, that anchors this cute little chunk of Pop-Tart to the top. Feels good in your hands. It's got good heft. Feels nice. But look at this fry ring. It's another one of these really nicely done donuts. Person that's doing this understands timing, understands what they have to do. But let's not overlook the most important part. It's a strawberry filled donut as well. I can tell you one thing. Somebody's beard is about to get strawberried. Oh, shucks, and probably the mustache too. What do you expect when you dive in to a delicious sculpted strawberry Pop-Tart donut? Exactly this. This knows it donuts. This donut is a absolute delight. First of all, to play a little bit of deconstructionist theater here, this Pop-Tart. This Pop-Tart is so cheerfully iconic. It is a playful throwback to a time when everything was carefree. I distinctly remember, yeah, my family, family scattered around here and there, but my favorite aunt, she lived a little town called, uh, well, t technically, I think it's New Shrewsbury, but it uh, shows a border with a town named Eaton Town. At least I think it does. But here's the neat thing about it. When we were kids, she had, uh, you know, her and my Uncle Joe had bought this nice little home, I think like a post-World War II home. Nice, solid, stable, some interesting architectural things. But the neatest thing that it didn't have was what she put in, a large pool. Oh my goodness. It became the magnet for the neighborhood and any friends or family you had every weekend. It was a pool party and it was fun. But my aunt, who was incredibly, I should say is, incredibly generous in spirit, didn't often have time with everything else she was doing to make snacks. So the number one thing that she would keep every one of the cousins, her own kids, nephews, nieces, friends, do you have any more Pop-Tarts? Guess what? I do now. I've got myself a nice little piece of Pop-Tart. And at this point in my life, it's not exactly the thing that I would say, oh, let me buy a box of Pop-Tarts. No, I'm not there. But for a donut, come on, look at the size of this donut. Look how beautifully fluffy she is. And it does come with a little bit of playful promise from our past. A little bit of Pop-Tart. But the rest of the donut shouldn't be measured just by that Pop-Tart. We have an exquisitely robust, strong donut. It is nice. And, you know, it's really worth pointing out. Look at this dough. I'm, I'm sort of poking at this here. I can't see exactly what my finger is. I suspect that's the strawberry. It, this dough is so nice and pliant. You bite it and it springs back a little bit. As you can see, when I took this bite, it didn't collapse. It didn't mush it up. It's really a nicely done dough. And then we have this filling. So let's see how much of this beautiful strawberry filling they put in there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh my! 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. We got lucky. Look how nice this is. Beautiful chunks of strawberry swimming in a pond of glaze. Oh, this is so nice. This is a treat. I love a good filled donut. Look how much you're getting in there. And I'm going to tell you one of the nicest things about it is the smell of the strawberry filling. Oh my goodness. Look at, look how beautiful that is. Oh, look at those chunks of strawberry. You can't go wrong. This is beautiful. And it's real strawberry. It's not just chunks of... Mm -hmm. You can see the beautiful little seeds in the strawberries in the glaze. This is gorgeous. Elegant. But most of all, it makes me eight years old again at my aunt's house in the pool with all my cousins and family having a donut. So, this one. What a win. Like, share, subscribe. And... <sighs> mm. Have a donut.